this road and this road look identical, but they're not. The aggregate structure is exactly the same. The base layer is exactly the same. The only difference is replacing 10% of the asphalt binder with fly ash. Fly ash is a coal combustion product, or CCP, from We Energy's power plants. Now it's being used to make a new type of high-performance asphalt paving, a mixture We Energy's calls asphalt. Utilities are always looking for high volume, high value applications for their flash that are well designed and can meet critical needs in the U.S. in terms of infrastructure. Asphalt and other applications provide a possible means for using more of the material rather than sending it to a landfill. Almost none of We Energy's fly ash is sent to landfills. The utility has a great track record of beneficial use. We Energy's has a long history in developing beneficial use for its coal combustion products. Over the last 10 years at We Energies, we've been over 95% beneficial use of our coal combustion products. That compares to the an industry average of about 40%. And so we really served as a model for the industry. Now, We Energies is working with the Electric Power Research Institute and the University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee to study the use of asphalt in road construction. We bring together utilities and other groups and consortiums to do research. In this case, we have several utilities that are participating in this research along with We Energies, and we're testing a wide range of fly ashes to determine how to optimize mixes and use different types of fly ashes in the asphalt mixtures. The asphalt mixtures using fly ash are made like any other asphalt at batch mixing plants. The standard mixing plant uh, for standard hot mix asphalt or, H or HMA uh, is where you introduce the aggregate first and heat it at uh, elevated temperatures to guarantee drying of the aggregate. It's actually a drum that rotates, so as it's rotating, it's taking the aggregate, moving it forward. It mixes with the, the hot asphalt uh, to achieve a uniform coating of all the aggregate particles. Fly ash aids in that uniform coating of the aggregates. This unique construction material may also help stop micro-cracking in asphalt. What makes fly ash different is its particle shape, size distribution, and its chemistry. The particles are spherical, ranging from 10 to 100 microns. Despite those distinctive characteristics, fly ash doesn't require any special handling. It's added to the mix in the same way other fine materials are. It replaces some of the asphalt's bitumen binder, an extender for the expensive glue that holds asphalt paving together. Researchers are experimenting with mix ratios, replacing 5 to 20 percent of the bitumen oil with fly ash. At the end of the study, we'll be able to propose a standardized mix design protocol. When you are using fly ash, this is, this is going to be your target a concentration. This is going to be your mix design uh, system so you can produce a sustainable and durable highway. One key element of the research project is a field installation of asphalt at the We Energy's power plant in Oak Creek, Wisconsin. Installation of this roadway, about a mile worth of paving for the plant road, is a heavy haul road for trucking. We thought it would be a good in-the-field test for this type of asphalt paving using fly ash, asphalt. Laboratory work is fine to prove our concepts, but ultimately you have to have something on the ground in use in the field. The paving was done in control sections without asphalt and sections with asphalt, basically to compare the two. The two segments of road, one with fly ash, one without, were built using the same crew, equipment, and processes there weren't any special modifications to accommodate the asphalt. During construction, at least, we don't, didn't see any need for change. Uh, in fact, I talked to one of the crews during construction. They thought this is a standard normal asphalt. The supervisor of that crew told me, we don't see any change in the paving operation, in the compaction operation, in the number of passes for compaction. If I didn't tell them anything, they wouldn't have recognized it's a different material. 
Using asphalt was no different than using typical asphalt. Uh, it was installed the same with the same equipment and uh, it was a very simple process for us. I don't think the crews would even notice the difference between asphalt and asphalt if you didn't tell them. This road was built in fall 2012. It's a heavy trucking road and so far it's a great value. The cost for asphalt is less than a cost of a typical asphalt because it's utilizing some of the, the coal combustion products that we have. Um, the handling is no different than typical asphalt, so there was no increase in cost as, as far as the handling. And of course the performance has been outstanding, so we've been very happy with the, the value that this asphalt has provided. This pavement has been tested, analyzed, and verified. The asphalt has passed every exam, both in the lab and in the field. This is a falling weight deflectometer, commonly used to test asphalt paving. The falling weight deflectometer, or, or the FWD, it's a standard test uh, in many, many states. One of the most important indicators of pavement structure stability in the industry. What it does is it shows how stiff that paving is and how it recovers from an impact such as the tire of a truck. In that testing, they take various probes that sense that movement, that literal deflection in the paving as they drop a heavy weight. And it's intended to be compared from one year to the next. But we're comparing it with a section that has no ash in it and a section that does have ash in it, the asphalt section. In that industry standard test, the asphalt set a new standard. It outperformed the asphalt. Preliminary uh, road pavement demonstrated that strength of asphalt pavements with fly ash is overperforming conventional asphalt. The initial testing that we saw at six months showed a very distinct difference between the asphalt sections and the non-asphalt sections. An improvement in that flexural strength, a better resiliency for traffic. The difference we saw was in the surface layer where the fly ash or the asphalt layer was stronger than that of the standard HOA by about 10%. The asphalt is scoring well in the lab, too. Here, researchers are conducting several tests designed for asphalt. We are performing a number of the, uh, of the tests which are standard for industry, and uh, asphalt industry actually has very sophisticated number of the investigation. And uh, obviously, we look on long-term performance in, ter in terms of fatigue resistance of asphalt pavements. One of the main important uh, devices we use is the, uh, we call DSR, which is the Dynamic Shear Rheometer. This is a standard test for uh, the asphalt industry. It has the ability to simulate traffic loading, the frequency of truck passing at like 40, 50 miles an hour. And also we can vary the temperature of testing, so we can test the, the properties of our asphalt at different environmental conditions. As it did in the field, asphalt outperforms asphalt in the lab. Preliminary results show that after aging, uh, materials with fly ash, there is significant improvement of performance. Performance uh, in, at higher temperatures and what is important also in lower temperatures. So this is where fly ash may really contribute to improvement of the performance. Asphalt offers numerous benefits. One, it reduces costs. Asphalt will reduce the cost of the asphalt pavement and improve its durability. The purchasing public will experience cost benefit based upon the reduced cost of road construction and the long-term reductions in the cost of road maintenance. A second benefit from asphalt is better performance. The roads performed beautifully. I mean, we haven't any, had any issues with any uh, degradation for the, the road surface at all. Um, in fact, there's been some set testing done that shows that the, the road is behaving even better than a typical asphalt would. So uh, we've been very happy with the, the road surface and the, the performance of the paving that we've done. Not only does asphalt perform better, but research indicates it will perform better longer. The chief benefit in using fly ash and asphalt is improvement of the durability and life of the asphalt. We found out that fly ash appeared to improve the aging resistance of the asphalt, so it doesn't become brittle. And as asphalt ages, it becomes uh, prone to cracking easily. And uh, asphalt appears to delay it. 
A third benefit of asphalt is an environmental one. The state of Wisconsin approves the use of fly ash in asphalt. Wisconsin's Department of Natural Resources supports the use of asphalt because it's ultimately good for the environment. The use of fly ash in asphalt is an acceptable use under the state of Wisconsin uh, uh, rule, which is NR 538. It's a good idea to beneficially use or reuse the byproducts because when you're reusing byproducts, they're not ending up in the landfill. And creating a landfill or, or trying to quarry new material, it causes a lot of land disturbances. Interrupts the, a lot of natural habitats in Wisconsin, which is bad for environment. The bottom line is, asphalt works. It meets all the criteria for beneficial use and for good construction practices. Better performance, lower cost, and longer lifespan. Those are the three things that you need to have for a beneficial use of a product like this. Fly ash does perform in all three respects. We can easily show that the cost savings are there. We can show that the resiliency is there. We also have installed roadway here that we've tested that actually shows that improved performance. What we realize that uh, when we incorporate proper quantities of fly ash, it means uh, better performance, better roads, and uh, longer service life. It means uh, less expense for taxpayers. We think this is a game changer. 94% of the road construction, the road paving in this country is, is comprised of asphalt. Asphalt would open up that entire market to the ash utilization industry. It is a win-win situation. The United States is faced with a lot of transportation infrastructure needs, and the role of coal combustion products in helping to meet those needs is critical and provides a low-cost, high-value material. In the last decade, We Energies has provided more than six million tons of coal combustion products for beneficial use. The development and use of asphalt is another commitment by the utility to sustainability. And sustainability is economic, environmental, and social are the dimensions. There are economic benefits for our customers and shareholders from making good use of these materials. There are clearly environmental benefits with not landfilling. And for society, there's great benefits from providing better construction materials that last longer. The innovative use of fly ash and asphalt is good business and sound environmental policy.